Oh yeah. Uh, but I think this is probably a good time to uh, restart the stream because. Oh uh, yes, probably. Yeah. We will be back and hopefully with the fixed frame rate. I don't know if it's gonna be fixed, but you know, good luck to us. Is that super choppy? Oh, it looks like it is worse. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it is worse. How? That Marco said everything seems to break when I leave. Ugh. Well, I guess I will set it back to what it was. Hey everybody, I'm back, and Marco's gone. Yes. He kinda did a trade-off. This week, we're playing Master Power Legacy. We're gonna be going through and uh, completing this game. Wonder who could have made such an amazing game. <sighs> this will contain story spoilers, so if you have not played Master Power Legacy yet, I mean, I'd like you to stay around for the views, but do feel free to turn off the stream uh, if you have not played it yet and you don't want it to be spoiled. So we need to um, select a character. Oomst should we be? He says Kopaka. So, some biofans, since you're the only one watching right now, you get to call the shot. So let's go with Kopaka. Oh, no, see, there's somebody. Hey, we got another good guy. <laughs> okay, Alvaro. we got one vote for Kopaka, one vote for Onua. Onua actually really bugs me because he stands slightly off, like <laughs> slightly angled. Inside. Yeah, yeah. I guess we should go with Kopaka then. Oh, yeah, that is true, some biofan. Kopaka is the coolest Toa, so we have to go with him. Yeah, so today, uh, um,. I usually drink energy drink with the live stream, uh, and today I'm drinking the Rocks energy drink. It's called Zoa. It mm. it's kind of disgusting. Of Some biofan asks, "Legacy speed run when?" We're not exactly doing a speed run. Not this time. I mean, I have like we have considered possibly doing a four person sort of race thing where mm -hmm. we all go and like have a see split who screen can defeat Makuta fastest. Yeah. And but this time I think we're probably going to be 100%ing it. That means all side quests and all masks and such. Right. Kaka. I'm I'm fairly certain there's a whole bunch of content that I haven't even seen just because I don't know where it is. The I mean, funny thing about those switches back there Many people don't realize you have to have the mask on in order for those switches to activate. This is true. You can't press them like this. You have to have it activated, though. It makes sense because you want to show how to use the masks and you want players to demonstrate that they understand. So it does make yeah. sense, even if it's a little annoying. People always think when they get to this room, they always think, huh, his textures are broken. No, they're not broken. He's meant to be all black. Do people think that? I mean, I haven't been watching yeah. very many Legacy gameplay. Like, I think TTV mentioned it. Uh, Lightstone mentioned it. Loads of people, like, thought that the textures were broken on that new Ijaga. And it's just like, no, they're not broken. We end for that. That's why it's, uh, its name is question mark, question mark, question mark. I mean... Another thing. I'm, sorry, I've got a lot of comments on this tutorial. Right. That, that statue back there, the Meditation mm -hmm. Stone, it doesn't do anything. Intended, but it yeah. really ought it really ought to uh it, in my opinion because you explain it here but you can't interact with it so people don't associate this with anything and then they walk right past them later i, I know but it's like i wanted to not have you be able to use the time function or like heal i mean i guess yeah, that, i guess it probably should have hello toa where are you i am he who has brought you to this place a place to guide you and show you your true destiny who am I? You are a Toa, a hero, one who fights valiantly no matter the circumstance. What's my duty? Your duty is to the will of the Great Spirit, to collect the six great masses of power in order to fulfill your destiny. Where am I? A mere vision which I have created for you, Toa, a place you will soon leave. Who am I? You are a Toa, a hero. <laughs> you did this one I'm already. I'm ready to wake up. Through the light, Toa. We're just going to follow the, the ice quest first, you know? Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Kokoro has always been hard to find in Legacy, I've found. But in in this version, it's a lot easier than it has been in the past. Because uh, it's like it's right there, <laughs> big mountain. Yeah, it you can when you know where it is, you can find it pretty easy because it is the big mountain. But yeah. also, 
if you just follow the sort of natural paths of the slopes, you end up getting there more often than you don't, which is yeah. really good design. Which is like something we definitely tried to do in this version, especially you can really mm -hmm. tell with uh, Tahu's start because there's like quite a few different just level design paths you can go through. This exactly. version has actual level design <laughs> is what I mean mm -hmm. to say. <laughs> yeah. Is jumping any faster in this game, or no, you just, just, just me to annoy me? <laughs> I'm just doing that to like glide a little bit. Also, yeah, cool immersion things is that you look at at stuff, which a lot of people take for granted nowadays. It's actually kind of hard to do. I mean, I can do it pretty easily because I've got well, a yeah. lot of experience with stuff. Yeah. But 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 yeah, when you're trying to set up something like this game, it is it's difficult to figure out, but it's it's easy once you know how to do it. Yeah, there you go. A lot of people also have confusion about what this is uh, when right. you have the Akaku on and like, why is there a huge thing? That must be a glitch. No, it's actually the quest marker. See? Yep, yeah. Uh, some people do it. find it out eventually, but initially people are like, what the heck is that thing? But uh, it also is kind of uh, meant to mirror the um, the thing in the... No, Miru is the other map? No, no. The one, the one of levitation. <laughs> to, to mirror. Oh, right, yeah. right. Do you mean Shadow Toa? What what mirror are you talking about? I'm sorry, my jokes are bad. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's, okay. Uh, <laughs> it, it's meant to mirror... Uh, like you see in the Borok animations when they get the Nuva, I think it's when they get the Nuva powers or whatever, and they sh to shoot up into the sky. So I was trying to like, you know, emulate that sort of Like effect. the Miru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and sorry, I couldn't remember. We're, we don't have Markle to balance this out, so we're we're going to get so quite a few dad jokes here. <laughs> Suffer through my bad jokes, yeah. Bad jokes and dad jokes. That, that's what we should be in this stream too. <laughs> <laughs> and also, yeah, there's a lot of cool little uh, neat zones in um, the world that you can find, like this cool area. Are we getting drop frames? Because it looks like it's looking pretty bad. In the chat, can we tell me what's going on? Does it actually look that choppy? <laughs> Hold on, just bear, just bear with me for a second. Um, oh, it looks fine. Some biofan. Maybe it's just on my end then. Okay. Uh, it'll look fine in the highlights either way. Because <laughs> I, I have right. it according to my computer separately. But yeah, the environmental storytelling is a whole lot better in 1.5 than it was in 1.4. There's yeah. certainly good some good environmental storytelling areas in 1.4, but there's just so many more of them in this version of the game. Oh, this game is just like wandering around. It's, uh, well... Like 2001, it was a collect-a-thon. Mm -hmm. You gotta go around collecting loads of stuff. Loads of man. Collecting a thons. That's what you gotta do in this game. <laughs> Hello, Toa. Welcome to Kokoro. If you need a protodermis refill, there's a pool on the path up ahead. Protodermis? Uh, yeah, it's basically use your mask juice. Need me some music. It's too much silence. I don't think here. the game wants to give you music. The game wants the music all for itself. Mass juice is my favorite kind of juice, says some bio fan. Yes, me too. Mine too. Yeah, I did want to buy this part one, and I have no wish. Oh, also, uh, yeah, I added this in the patch, so you actually know how much you're getting. <laughs> Trading is a new thing. Did you just did you just sell it, then buy it back for cheaper? No, no. I, I trust me, I made sure that that doesn't happen. That okay. was something I was having an issue with for a while, but I fixed it before we released. So yeah, this is, no, I just bought this one. It has the same icon. Right. Uh, part one. In a series of journal pages documenting, I don't remember how to pronounce this. Akoga. Akoga's enlightenment. So <laughs> thank you for the save. <laughs> so we can read this uh, after we do the quest. There's not a quest for that. I mean, just the main quest. Hello. Oh. Greetings again, Toa. Oh, you want to read this? Greetings again, Toa. There's an important matter I need to discuss with you. Eh? Who are you? You don't remember me? Strange. That'll have to wait. My name is Matoro, and we have a more important matter to discuss. What is it? I was returning from a meeting with Taraga Nuju, and we decided to cut through the drifts to save time. Matoro, you should know that's not going to save time. Yeah. Well, I mean, it actually... <laughs> Actually, the shortest way to um, yes, but it's the drift. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I made sure that this made sense because the shortest way from the uh, Kinanui, which is where they were meeting, to Kokoro is through the drifts. <laughs> it makes sense, at least. 
It makes sense, but it also doesn't because it's the drift. Yeah. However, during the blizzard, I was separated from him. We have conducted searches, but the drifts are so difficult to navigate. Yeah. See, he he acknowledges it yeah. there. I mean, that he we've understands. no luck in finding him. It was it was Nuju's decision. <laughs> right. You want me to look for this Turaga? Yes, if you would. I fear for his safety. The drifts are harsh and dangerous place. The night is dark and full of terrors, and no one can survive in there for long. Yeah. <laughs> How can I find? New Jew. The searches did turn off a rather strange new Ejaconus, but we are chased off before we can investigate. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Oh, you don't have a map? Gah! Very well. Take my piece. It's just Kawahi, but it should help you find New Jew. Thank you. This should help. Please do find him, and I... I feel partially responsible for his disappearance. I will. And he returns to his spot. He sits down. And ignore the lag that happens when variants transition. Don't even get me started on how the variant system works. I don't even know. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous, and it would take me like an entire stream to explain it and how and how I made it. Just a brief synopsis is that it's actually a UE4 system, like sort of experimental plugin that's made for industrial use. So like making cars and stuff. So yeah, I use that in the game. It works though. Caused, caused a lot of crashes for a long time, but it works. I did want to talk to this guy, though. He's saying something, and he says, Hmm, okay. Does anybody want to read that? Oh, uh, am I going to have to bust out my Mentorian brain? <laughs> do, do, yeah, do you want me to read it? Uh, the... Chronicle... The Chronicler will be... Become the light. The chronicler will become the light. And you said it exactly how he was supposed to be reading it, right? He <laughs> <laughs> says, hmm, okay. What is that language you're speaking? Oh, hello, Toa. I was just reading the Wall of Prophecies. Much of it is written in an older dialect. I'm one of the few who transcribed those pages onto our our new way of speech. Very interesting. I'll leave you to your work. There's a couple of cool things that I like to uh, show off here is that there is like per Toa dialogue. So if I talk to this guy as Kopaka, there will be something different. So I'll show you as like Tahu. Talk to him and then this Komatoran astro uh, astrologer says, I study the stars. Do you do anything else? I create prophecies for the wall. I see. But if you talk to him as Kopaka, I study the stars. Do you do anything else? I create prophecies for the wall. And you have this option, which is for Kopaka. And he says, how do you make these? I study the red star and he kind of opens up a little bit because it's Kopaka. He says, I study the red star and its location in the sky relative to the stars around it. The constellations it forms helps me understand our destiny. Intriguing. So yeah, it's a cool thing. And what do you know? It's actually over there, so I can't see it. I wasn't going to say, what do you know? It's the red star. Yeah. Yep. It is. It is indeed the red star. Some bio fan says, wait, oh, does Kopaka not... Uh, know what he's saying. It's literally their language. Yeah, no, it's an older dialect, he says. So basically, it's like, I don't know, ye olde English something. Yeah. So it's strange. It, it? It's like, um, I don't know. I don't know a good comparison without being racist, but it's 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 a, a little bit different pronunciation and stuff, and it makes it hard to understand. Yeah, it's like, um, it's, it's like, uh, Wales English versus uh london well English. i was trying not to be racist <laughs> it's, that's not really racist that's just like you know locational dialects so it's like you know you can understand it especially if you're from there but you know it's a little harder to understand from uh anywhere else so it's like it's familiar and you kind of understand it but it's it's not quite there oh and also yeah i have kawahi now so you can see Sorry for the um, self-induced uh, technical difficulties. I'm just I'm just doing this because like because it's because you know technical difficulties. So there's a little prophecies stuff. They don't Is actually... that this the same text that's yeah. in the? It's the same text that's in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's just a lot smaller here. Yeah, I like reusing assets. It's easy. <laughs> yeah. It is easy. You can also use this cool telescope that also has like these cool gears on it and such. So you can go like, pop, mm, where's the red star? I don't know, because this telescope's angled wrong. It's like, it's supposed to be up further, but you can see, study this volcano here. The letters do actually mean stuff. So the far bottom left is your yaw and pitch, I believe. Yeah, it's your yaw and pitch. The top right is 
time. So that's the milliseconds you could tell on the right. I believe the one below that is arbitrary. The one with the little pitch up just above the top left is actually the zoom. Yes, you see. So I thought you were explaining to them, not Yeah, to I am. I was just uh, expecting you to say right or something. Well, right then, fine. Right. You were complaining <laughs> before we started that just say right in that monotone way i do and well, it yeah, doesn't get anywhere so i mean fine, if you want me to say right i'll say it i mean it's better than nothing i was just saying that it's it's funny because like that's all we got without marco it's just i i explain something and then you say right which is just funny to me but it's it's yeah. better than silence so <laughs> and he's speaking more stuff uh, oh dear am i gonna have to do this again or would you I can, just do it i can read it uh over and over sorry i even wrote this and i i don't remember what it says over and over again and again the darkness controls the the wheel the wheel yes the wheel of time who knows hello what are you reading this telescope has been used by all the great philosophers of kokoro their philosophies and their findings were inscribed at the base here some of them have been lost to time i am attempting to restore those and discover their meaning have any prophecies you've read come true oh indeed quite a few by observing the red star and its relation to the surrounding stars, one can create very accurately depictions of the future and the past. <sighs> right. Right. I said the thing, guys. I said it. Yeah. I'm, I'm playing my role here. That's, that's a catchphrase. <laughs> I, I don't know if I have a catchphrase. But what do you think? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I think, I think Marco's catchphrase at this point is uh, the riveting gameplay. <laughs> Mine is just like... I, I don't know if you have anything, really. You can ask him uh, which prophecies have been true, how is this done, and can I use the telescope? What do you think? I think we should go save the Draga. <laughs> well, yeah. We we're, we're talking to people. I, I, I worked on this hard. When okay, I, fair point. Fair point. Uh, let's cool just go characters. down the line. Which prophecies have come true? Let's which prophecies there. have come true? Well, let's see. Oh, duh. Yes. Oh, oh, no. The darkness will be defeated but not for long there's that then there's a m n what amnesia oh amnesia they fight the i'm not i'm not gonna read this site <laughs> people feel free to uh, screen cap this because there's a lot of really cool interesting prophecies that i actually did write out here so yeah there's i uh, said hmm, very interesting i'll leave you to it yeah then you can talk to him again how is this done this is I wrote this detailed because I wanted to make sure my logic was airtight. There are constellations in the sky, stars that form patterns and shapes. When the red star nears one of these, we begin to get an idea of what will happen and how soon. The distance from the constellation denotes time, and when the red star fully merges with a star pattern, that will be near, very near to coming true. Which prophecies have come true? Yeah, no. Uh, can I use the telescope? Why, of course, it's free for anyone to use. Cool little details on how they actually use the red star to do the prophecies. I don't know. I remember, right? I remember a couple of years ago, we were throwing around the idea of doing something with a telescope similar to what Minog did, in yeah. that telescopes could predict when when 2.0 is going to drop but we ended up not doing that because we have no idea when 2.0 is going to drop yeah we're we're just uh taking our time with it mm -hmm. it was a cool idea but not very practical let me just buy as many as i can from this guy of the wahe mata because right, we right. will need that eventually well i mean not necessarily but it's handy to have yeah well i mean not necessarily but i like to do that because i like to engage in the game systems <laughs> right because i made them so i'm like uh, i kind of want to use them right and it's like people are always like avoiding the trading and going around like doing as they normally do and i'm like just freaking actually use the game systems please that's a pretty like shot though of the the sun or the is that the moon that's the that's like the, the sun. sun yeah the two suns rising yeah i did like halfway through i, I did realize like how pretty legacy was now and i was like how did i even do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there a mask down there, there? There's a mask down there, yep. Right. Just gonna take some damage. And it's just a row. So it's probably it's not fine. worth it, but. It's fine. <laughs> but I, holy cow, yeah. the fog. Yeah, the drifts are also I really loud. I don't play on max graphics, so I never see this version of this. Oh, oh and then there's a uh, legendary Muwaka here. Not, not legendary, Which... I'm just talking like the legendary Rahi of Muwaka. Yeah. Not its the, status. That is freaking terrifying when it looms out of the snow like that. Yeah. Save um 
what's his face juju this is a pretty intense like early quest because there's so much in this cave yeah uh oh i'm stuck oh you got into the stuck spot. yeah i never fixed that <laughs> hold on you can dash out of it with Dahu, i believe ah there we can go can you I got there it. Now it saves so that it doesn't happen again. And it also, Tahu is like a really good one to use here, but I've been kind of RP in his uh, Yeah. So let's just let's just go as Tahu because he's got the ultimate crowd control ability, which is the Howl plus the fire dash. I wouldn't call that crowd control. I would call that tanking. Yeah, tanking. He's got the ultimate too. tanking ability. Golly has the crowd control ability. Golly has the crowd control. And Box Turret says a few things. It says, got caught up with something else and forgot there was a stream today. When Mwaka were first added, they usually killed all the other Rahi, he also says. Yeah, they still kind of do, but uh, I tried to limit that. <laughs> and uh, let me save again, which is actually you can save after you've killed Rahi down. Because, um, epic coding. Nuju! We'll say that. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nuju, are you safe? Back, back, click, click, tweet, tweet. Are you trying to tell me something? Click, click, tweet, tweet. I'm glad you're safe. Back, back. Okay. And then you look away and he poofs. And you get Temple of Ice, which is the next part of the quest. And you also get all the other village quests. Even I can get lost in the drifts because I forgot how they were designed. I might stumble across your guy, actually. I think you're heading towards Gawahi. Do all the Matoran and Turaga have full max or something? Oh, the teleporting? No, they don't, but uh, it's just how the variant system works, and I, it was easier to teleport them into a new position than to uh, have them manually walk there, because, like, that's a little crazy. And I am not yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm I'm not a AAA developer at Rockstar, so I can't have uh, I can't have that happen. <laughs> Oh, look, here he is. Yeah. Uh, Lucas Robin says, uh, Yo, this looks exactly like the Kowahi Waste, perfectly translated into 3D. I'm pretty sure he means the drifts, but yes, yes it yes. is. Uh, and then here's your guy. I believe we talked to him uh, last time we played this. On the last stream, yeah. Yeah. So he's just he's a little lost, but also yeah. not. <laughs> he's looking for something, something that might not exist yet. Or might. We never know. And that was some clutch howing you saw <laughs> are you sure it's not choppy because uh, i guess that must just be on my end because i'm looking at the stream like i'm looking at obs versus the stream and the stream looks like way too laggy it is kind of choppy boxer says it's very choppy one frame per step yeah that's that's what i was worrying about i don't know if i can uh, fix that I guess it's just my internet to be honest the best way to fix this would be to restart briefly, the stream yeah restart the stream uh, with different photo settings so do you think we should do that because i mean i'm not noticing it much it's... no this is a released version this is 1.5 mr trumpet it is fully released and it has a story and it is the final content release the final version essentially so do we want to go to a different village or do we want to go back to let's Nicola? finish up this this quest line here right so we want to go i think coro by coro then yeah I, I think so because the cool thing is that turns out this game is kind of i mean you can play it non-linearly <laughs> sort of yeah you can go from takoro do that one and then you can go to kokoro do that one then you can go to lee koro and do the entirety of the quest and then you can go and do something else you know it's pretty yeah. cool you know what would be pretty cool actually if we did like all of kopaka's content without leaving kokoro kawahi i mean like I we get all his masks it's possible. here too it is possible yeah i don't know if we should go and like get all of his masks here though because like because that will still take quite a while but i guess we can try and get all of his masks yeah. in Kawahi. I say I say we do Kopaka this week and then like next week we choose a different Toa and go through their content. I guess, yeah. I mean it's a little weird though because it's not as natural. I mean it, it is possible though and and yeah. plenty of other players will play it naturally. Let's play it unnaturally. <laughs> Let's play the game weird. <laughs> Hendrik Muther. I'm sorry if I'm horribly butchering that name. Imagine if this game becomes as popular as as Valheim perfect timeline yeah 
that that would be a perfect timeline, but it's not gonna happen because it's only it's a fan game, you know, for Bionicle, so it's not an original yeah. sort of project. Not got that uh, broad appeal that something like Valheim does have. Yeah, yeah. Here we are, the uh, Matoro and Sons shop. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> okay, speak with Nuju. Wait, click clack. Nuju extends his welcome to you, Kopaka. You got something for me? Fweet, fweet, click, click, clack. Her. Taraga Nuju says he does not. And asks only that you continue to search for your masks. That's what I've been doing. Is something the matter? Clack, clack, tweet. Nuju says. No. You have he to wait. Request that you leave. You have to wait that long between ellipses. That's like a. It's, <laughs> I, it's comical though. It, yeah. I'm giving him character. Hmm. Very well. Also, a lot of people complain about the camera angles. It's really hard to uh, make dynamic camera angles that always work. Mm -hmm. What's that? Where did Matoro go? Oh, he's looking for you at the entrance. Kapaka. Wait. Matoro. What is it? I must speak with you. It's about the task Nuju didn't want to tell you about. So there is something he's hiding. What is it? The Taraga he, there's no recently <laughs> held a meeting. Recently held a meeting to discuss certain things that may have been happening to you, Toa. Nuju unfortunately came to the conclusion that it was that he was unsure where your loyalties lie. Nuju? Doubts? Me? He doubts the Toa? Do not blame him, Kopaka. Nuju is skeptical and cold by his nature. He has seen prophecies change and fail. He has seen his own friends and allies turn against him. He, he, it has taken a bigger toll on him than he cares to... Uh, Hendrick actually makes a good point. He says, what a fast Matoran. That's why he became Toa. We should be doing this for uh, Kapura. <laughs> Yeah. What things have been happening to cause him to doubt us? My oath to the Taraga forbids me from searching, from sharing information which is deemed secret. However, helping you to fulfill your destiny through my actions does not violate that oath. What do you mean? It means I shall assist you on your task, Toa. Excellent. You, Kapaka, must travel to the Kokini. Within the temple lies a Makoki stone, part of the key to the lair of the Makuta. And I must travel to this temple, even against the Taraga's wishes? I'm afraid we must, Kofaka. We? I will accompany you. The temple remains locked, and I know the secret to unlocking it. I hope that Nuju can forgive me for this, but it must be done. I cannot allow, allow Nuju's skepticism to prevent it. Thank you for this, Matoro. I shall go to the Kokini and wait for you there. And then I Matoro dispense. away. We. This is probably a good time to uh, restart the stream, because Oh, uh, yes, probably. Yeah. Okay. So I do we need will to go be feeding. back in just a few minutes. Okay. <sighs> Welcome back again. Hopefully this is better. I don't know. It might be even worse still somehow. It It's worse now. What? Let me see if we make sure that the footage is okay and the, uh, the highlights and such. It's choppy on the footage. I don't know why status your stream is experiencing issues you don't say <laughs> oh no it seems to be coming back a little is this is this playable enough just to you it's it seems to be oh it's oh it's getting better yeah, oh it's way better now don't know what happened but it looks good now <laughs> now that that's happened okay uh, oh that was a big detour yeah now that that's happened, I will briefly go to the bathroom <laughs> so that we okay. can so that we can have uh, not utilize this brief moment of performance and have it just dwindle away uh, when I get back. Okay. So um, I'm going to go to the breaking screen real quick. Uh, hopefully that sounds good. Hopefully, the screen hopefully is, that doesn't break. Yeah, hopefully the screen's not screwed because it uh, we did switch resolutions a bit. So uh, see it in like a few seconds. All the comments came through at once. Yeah, that seems to happen whenever we have internet problems. Oh boy, it was even choppy in the transition. 
Here we go, back at it again. We'll just have to uh, bear with it. We are just gonna go yeah. through the game now. Well, we'll have to figure out something for next time. Hopefully, I honestly have no clue what's happening. I'll, I'll look into it. Oh, and you want yeah. to see well, Plant Man along the way? He's yeah, coming. I want to stop by Plant Man. Plant Man. And Boxer was thinking, just think of it as a beam up radio flag. So yeah, let's describe everything we're doing. Here, <laughs> I, here I will go and interact with the meditation point. Oh, and look at we that! I got, talk. I got an amount of volume. We gotta talk and almost. We gotta talk and almost whisper. Tone yeah, yeah. And uh, I just got a lot of volus here. I got full health, full stamina. It's here great. on BMLP Radio, we don't speak any louder than this. Not to and, get any louder. I feel really yeah. irritating. It's like it's almost ASMR, but it's not quite there yet. Yeah. And, and would you look at that? There's some rocks, a uh, little overhang rocks with some light stones dangling. Uh, let's open the door. <laughs> oh, lo lovely little. This is uh, already village. getting annoying. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was trying to do uh, trying to do Bob, but it didn't work. Right. Speak to Outcast. Hello, welcome to my sanctum. Feel free to stay and rest for as long as you want, my man. Who are you? Me? Uh, I don't remember what they called me. Weirdo? No, that's not right. You can just call me Plant Man. Why are you here? I'm here to protect my plants, man. Really? Uh, no, not really. I used to live in Kokoro, but I didn't really fit in there. And they threw me out, dude. How is the grass here? It's real simple, tall guy. The rocks above protect us from the snow. The stones hanging from them are heat stones. And the water below me is an underground hot spring, man. Why are you here? No, I already asked that. Oh, uh, we already did that one. Uh, so who are you? Yeah, so that's just, that's it. Be yeah. around, plant man. Kopaka, away! <laughs> yeah, so we saw a plant man and fall damage as well in the, the Beam Up Flight Show 2021. Do you work for Shocker? I don't know who that is or what that is. So no, I don't. Yeah, yeah what's Shocker? The only Shocker I know is the uh, Spider-Man villain. Yeah, the only shocker I know is the epic twist in the storyline here. Welcome, Kopaka. Kopaka, I am ready. Good. Now descend into the Ko... Kinney. Okay. <laughs> Kumatoro, this quest always bugged out. It's like one of the ones that kept bugging out yeah. just because one value... Uh oh What? <laughs> um. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, that works. That works. Yep, whatever. That works. But uh, yeah, I was saying it always bugged out because one value would always be um, unset. It was like the tag that you need to have to pick it up and complete the mm -hmm. quest objective. And so you could never complete the rest of the quest. So now it's fixed though. Yeah. Because, you know. It was I really think... annoying for a long time. Yeah. I see you found the stone. Thank you for your help, Matoro. I could not have completed this without you. Actually, I could have, because you just came and unlocked it. Yes. I suppose. Yeah, you didn't have to come. Is something the matter? I... I know that I am doing the right thing in helping you with this. But I've still gone behind Nuju's back to complete this task. I still feel uneasy about this, and I say this a lot. What will you do? Forgive me, Toa, but I do not feel that you should leave with, with this stone while Nuju is deceived. I understand. I shall speak with Nuju then. I will as well. I only hope that... Uh... I only hope that he will... I'm doing my pauses thing. I know. Be it's... able to see reason. Please speak with him as soon as you're able to. I know it's just kind of getting a little irritating now. <laughs> Here is the stone. Return to Nuju's side, and I will meet you there. I shall go speak with Nuju. Speak with us when you're ready. I will. Oh, it looks like it's actually doing pretty good in the stream now. I don't want to yeah, wait. I shouldn't. Good. I shouldn't say that because then I'll jinx it and it'll, it'll go back to bad in like a few minutes. All right. So back to Nuju. Speed time. Uh, there it is. See, I know this place really well. 
this like the kakama is especially in legacy like the definition of you know when people say like when you're you when you're developing a game and if you have a developer tool that's really fun just put it in the game mm -hmm. that's like that's the that's exactly the definition of the right kakama the kakama Although yeah. that, the Kakama was planned from the beginning. Well, yeah, obviously, but it just wasn't the really way... planned as a developer tool. Yeah, but just the way it works, I mean. Uh -huh. Nuju extends his welcome to you, Kopaka. It's Kokorobin. Well, <sighs> why did you have to pick that one? Because <laughs> it's the it's optional been, one. It has been. There have been very few visitors from the show recently, a fact which Nuju is very pleased with. I've returned, Draga. Nuju understands all that's happened. While he does not approve of deception, he acknowledges his own misunderstandings and believes that ultimately the correct decision was made by us both. You are not upset. I like to imagine Nuju is just grumbling here because he doesn't actually agree, but he's sort of forced to go along with it now. Yeah, Matoro's just like, and, you, you gotta and give him And Matoro's like cleaning it up as he explains to Kopaka. Yeah, he's, he's uh, like filtering out all the curses and the... <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Fweet, yeah. fweet. Uh, perhaps at first, yet he realizes that if order is to be restored, his own reservations and fears must be set aside. Fears about what exactly? Taraga Nuju says that he's unable to tell you that at present. But you must remain patient. All shall be revealed in due time, Toa. Like, you're trying to make it so that we only complete this quest line this time. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> As for now, the Taraga grants you this Makoki stone and wishes you luck on your journey. His faith is firmly placed in you and all the other Toa to fulfill your duty. Thank you, Taraga. And then you get it back, and you actually have it in your inventory. It's pretty cool. How many masks does Kopaka still need to get his gold? Um, not many. Like, Miru, Kao Kao, Komao, and Bakari. We can find those in Ko. There's a Miru in the, in the Hell Pit. Oh, yeah. Oh, and something heavy callback is this up here, which some people, if they have been around long enough, which uh, maybe some biofam or, or some other people here uh, will see. But this thing is kind of a cool reference, long shot. Um, I made this on a stream, on a Legacy 1.5 development stream. Oh, right. Like the last one that I did. <laughs> because it was on Halloween and everybody was busy and I was like, well, what am I going to do? I, I wanted I wanted to do a stream for Halloween. So eventually what I ended up doing is just sort of doing some random legacy development. It's when I added the dash uh, art, which still looks really bad. But yeah, this is uh, when I added the statue and, and Kopik here. Another Kopik original. Yeah. It says, it's almost done. What is this sculpture? It represents the need that all living beings carry for heat. The heat stone represents when the Matoran took control of that need and, and took it into their own hands. But isn't that a light stone? What? Ah, not again! I'll let you get to that. Basically, the joke is that um, there's always something wrong with the peak statues. I guess you could just change it to the need that we need for light. And, you know, yeah. There you go. <laughs> but, there should have but... been a dialogue option, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, but then, of course, Kopik's got to refuse because he can't taint his artist's vision. Wouldn't the heat stone melt the ice? Uh, yeah, but <laughs> that also could have <laughs> been a dialogue option. Yeah. For probably well, for Tanu well, or something. Oh, that could have been a fun mini quest. Like, you get yeah. him a heat stone, and then once you hand it to him, you say, Isn't this going to melt the ice? And then he, like, goes off again. And then he just, he just falls over and passes out. <laughs> I might, I maybe I'll add that in the next patch. It's a very small, very small thing. I never tested this ledge. I added it so that you could get up here easier without the mirror. And you didn't I test never it. tested it. Because <laughs> it was like the day before release that I added this. Or, or like uh, a couple of days. Well, it, it was, uh, I think it was the night of like right well, it before it was release. actually, it was. Because we were, we were in a call together at the yeah. time. And I was, I was the one who suggested it. Yeah, it was the night or day of. Aha, chill. Nice ice puns. You know, I didn't even mean to make a pun at that point. Yeah. Which is odd because I usually do mean to make a pun when I give a pun. Uh, Boxster says, find the pirate treasure. Uh, yeah, we'll do that little side quest, uh, in, uh, like, after Probably in a future stream. Yeah, in a future stream. Not, not today, but... There goes the, uh, the guy. Come on, go! Ha ha ha! Ah, that's always great. I wish the follow damage worked better. 
Oh, also, something that you'll notice around the whole island, which is a cool little detail thing, is this sound here that's playing. Uh, well, it's a little bit quieter now because it's further away, but um, the sound that's playing, the water swishing, is actually around in the whole island whenever you get near the water. Right. Which is cool, because it is a spline sound. Which nobody right. will know what that is unless you're like a game developer, but... Um, I'm guessing that's just a 3D sound that's placed along a spline. Yeah, it's just a sound that follows you along a spline. So you can make a track essentially right. along the entire coastline. And then right. that sound will follow you whenever you get near the pit where you get mutated to a warlord. <sighs> Breathe underwater. No? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're referring to. Like the pit in the. Uh, Oh, seven. oh <laughs> right yes right yep the pit yeah this is just a, a a a much worse version of the pit now i have the mirror so i can jump out that's like the whole idea yep. I, I think originally there was and... a how down here so it's not yeah there was a how and i was just like hmm this should be a mirror because uh someone might not have a mirror and someone might not want to change to liwa ignore the invisible underground rahi they, they just exist it's a cool little island uh or iceland you prefer off the edge of uh cove i feel like i'm i feel like i'm a tour guide that's that's what we're doing now i'm a tour guide of this game <laughs> yeah basically my brother also made this place which is pretty good uh, it looks cool it's a little combat encounter uh, okay so, cow cow and okay cow cow i believe there's one like on the edge of gawahi but still technically in Co. Okay, exact other side of Kauai. Let's go. Yep. Nice. Oh, and there's also the uh, tower, I believe. So here, so that's the overlook. Right. Yeah, it's, yes. right, it's right around here. We could uh, end with the tower here. I guess, but we need to get the last two. We'll have to like look for them. Cause I'm not sure where uh, Ru is. Ko, yeah. Hey, yo, this game's pretty easy. <laughs> Well, it's easy for you because you yeah, made it. I know. <laughs> it's actually like pretty freaking difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, that was kind of the plan. You know, that's how you... oh, my stamina is broken. If the stamina ever breaks, just tap shift and it will fix itself. Just... Yeah, so many. All you got to do is kite him. It's essentially Minecraft combat. Oh, no, he's gone. Yeah. Oh, he's what? Oh, he fell down again. He always does that. He always does that, yeah. I tried to add like a blocker thing uh, on the latest patch, but it didn't seem to work. Right. There you go. And then the Matoran come back. So yeah, um, do we want to end there? We have six minutes left. <laughs> yeah, this stream was kind of a mess. Yeah. With the immense amount of technical difficulties. Uh, just us two. And uh, also, ju yeah, also just to um, just to annoy you a little bit, Daz, um, Kopaka also oh, no. stands to the side. Yeah, but it's not as extreme as Onua. Well, I can forgive that. I guess. Like, that is mostly center, yeah. but that is just like, what the hell are you doing? Hopefully we'll get at least one other person on to talk about uh, stuff of, like, maybe somebody who actually worked on uh, this version. <laughs> Be nice. Uh, how do we feel about uh, self-promotion on these streams? Self-promotion? Oh yeah, feel free. I have recently joined a team that is making something called Nightmare World. Go check out Nightmare World. Specifically, you can look in YouTube and you can search Callum Upton Nightmare World and find out all about it. Yeah. That's, that's my plug there. And my plug is that I occasionally do stuff on this YouTube channel that isn't Pineapple related. Yeah. Very occasionally. <laughs> Uh, with that, I've been Desalius. I've been Jopu131, and I don't think we ever did our intros. No, we didn't, but may the great spirit guide you.